Assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm just gonna dive into Matic for Monday, 17 January. And guys, join us in the Discord. The link is in the description of this video that you're watching right now. So there is a consolidation box of Matic right now. It's unclear if Matic wanna go up or down, but it's at the moment consolidating right now uh, in this box. So uh, the next price of buying Matic, if it does go down, of course, is gonna be at this level based on the one hour time frame as well. And if you break out of here uh, at this consolidation box right now from there to there, that's going to take you nearly uh, 2.672, continuing the uptrend to the upside as well. So what is it going to be? What is it going to be? Um, calculating the movement based on Bitcoin as well, because, of course, we all know every single coin uh, mirrors Bitcoin. That's stupid Bitcoin, idiot Bitcoin right now. So basically, if Bitcoin just goes to $46,000, Matic is going to be pushed to the upside and that means that we are still good to continue to $3 and uh, maybe stop at the $3, potentially stop there. But if you start breaking out of this consolidation box right now, then you're going to go to that $2.6 uh, in the immediate short term. So let's dive into the 4-hour time frame and I want to see what is going on with Matic. Uh, here we are and it's kind of like, you know, on the 4-hour time frame you were about to put like an inverse head and shoulder left shoulder head and then you have this right shoulder right now but that didn't quite happen now can we say that uh you're starting to make a continuation pattern like you went up like this came down and then you went up like that come a little bit down and then boom you push to the upside then go down and then you know move in waveforms basically to the upside just like this until you don't go to three dollars because Ever since you came down to this retracement level of $1.9, what you're doing is just you're going up, come down, go up, came down, move a little bit sideways in this consolidation box, maybe again just move like this and then, you know, go all the way to that $3 region area in the next seven days maybe. Um, but right now, uh, we're making a small spinning stop on the four hour time frame. This is a spinning top right there. And if it appears after you're going up like this, then potentially you're going to have a little bit of a downward pressure. And this candle closes in the next 57 minutes from the time I'm recording and, uh, go a little bit down once again, maybe down to 2.339, a very small retracement. And then from there, continue back up or who knows, go all the way down to this consolidation box bottom right there to the 2.2. And then from here, just consolidate sideways. Now, uh, the only thing that I want to say, it's like it's a sideways movement at, the, at this current point of time, right? So there's no clear answer if we're going to go up or down basically the only way to have a clear answer is you break the resistance back test it then you go up or either you fail the support back test it then you go down again to the 1.9 pretty simple that's just what i see but be careful of this big head and shoulder uh, i've mentioned this one before this is your left shoulder this is your head this is potentially going to form another right shoulder and uh, even if you just went up to the 2.5 and then go down that still would put another big left shoulder because uh, sorry the right shoulder because in the left shoulder as well you have your top at the 2.5 if you do go again to the 2.5 that will still be another one uh, right there so what you want to see for matic what i want to see basically is you you cross the 2.5 2.7 back test the 2.5 then you continue to 3.128 basically but i'm gonna be honest with you it's looking good though okay it's looking good the neckline is down here we never broke the neckline and uh you, all you did is you went up you came back to back test the sunning triangle and maybe just to continue to the upset so the positivity is still there and at the smaller time frame on the one hour time frame we're just moving sideways and consolidating now make sure you're watching the bitcoin video update as well in order for you to understand what's going to go on with matic now so uh, the only thing i'm looking for is that consolidation box actually what i'm going to do before i end the video is i want to turn on the bollinger bands here and let's see where the bollinger band is supporting matic prices on this current price situation on the four hour time frame right so here we are so do expect that you're a little bit oversold on the four hour time frame do you see that you're a little bit oversold and all you all you're doing is retrace down maybe to this blue line do you see the blue, the middle line right here is where you're retracing or to me personally you could come all the way down put an evening star like this 
And when you put an evening star like that, then you're going to go all the way down to that lower band and that's where the support is also. Do you see that? Everything is coinciding with one another because previously this white line that you see, that, that white line has big influence. You had made touches there and that was the inverse head and shoulder. Let me hide the Bollinger Bands for you to see. That was the inverse head and shoulder. Look at that. Left shoulder, head, uh, the right shoulder and then you had resistance there, resistance there. You came you came up to interact once again again interaction here so if you do go down there that's the that's where the lowest part of the bollinger bands is and you could get a nice good entry from 2.244 and that if you're looking for an entry that that would be a nice entry by the way because you might just go down here bounce off there and you could make another small you know tr nice good trade when it goes up of eight percent trade and that would be a lovely right eight percent is good if if you're just doing a day trade <laughs> at the moment so to me um, my vote is a little bit to the downside you know just go a little bit down retrace down bounce off the Bollinger Band and then uh, continue sideways until we don't break out and Bitcoin doesn't go to the upside as well hope you enjoyed this uh, video and that's it I'm gonna see you the next one Allah Hafiz